Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a small update of the string feature, uh, which is supposed to help you to produce a better, a stronger string. This is the interface of an old version, and that those were strings that could be generated by the previous version. Uh, if we go to show one layer, you will see that a string uh, in one direction that is supposed to cut through the object was segmented into two sections and they penetrate the object at the end and the depth of penetration depends on the size of the object and the size of the frame. <coughs> this was okay, however, based on the tests of several users, they said even when they successfully print these strings, over time, the strings will come out of the object, uh, causing the whole string structure to deform. Therefore, I have improved uh, the string feature to have a continuous running line of string throughout uh, the ob through the object from one end of the frame to the other end. And let's look at an example. So this is the old version, and that is the <coughs> current version, already released <coughs> on Luban website. You can download this version from Luban website through <coughs> Gmail, uh, through G Google Drive or OneDrive. We create a 3D object, a sphere, and then we go to Mesh Slicer. We will turn on the string feature. I'll set the frame clearance to 15, just to make it clear. And in order to speed up the processing, I'll set layer height to 1. So we will only have a few layers of string. In fill, I'll set to 0, so that we can visualize the string better. There is no need for the brim. There is no need for the support. <coughs> okay, we are very ready to slice. Uh, here is the results of the slice. Let's browse through. Okay, here it is. As you can see, the strings run through the object instead of being segmented into several sections as the previous version. It runs through the object. Uh, that will improve uh, the strength of the string to a certain extent, I believe. And also the penetration of the string into the frame and into the object is, is made as big as possible. So if you look at it closely, the penetration is made as big as possible without uh, penetrating through the frame. So you will not see the frame outside, you will not see the string outside the frame. The string <coughs> goes to the end of the frame and then stop. Uh, let's slightly change the visualization. You can also see the behavior of the string uh, without slicing it you can go to select. Right. If we highlight the string, you can see that the strings are running through the object. So for those users who do not prefer to use a Luban Slicer to generate G-code, you can go to Fire, Export, and then export the STL. The STL will have the object, the frame, and the string. <coughs> Sometimes you want to increase the size of the string. You can do so by adjusting two parameters. One is layer height. Uh, the string, the string height is actually the same as the layer height. So one string is one layer, is on one layer. Then the second thing that you can change is on the printer tag. That is the nozzle diameter. The string width is the nozzle diameter. Uh, for instance, you use a no nozzle diameter of 0 0.4, then by default, you put 0 0.4 here. 
but if you want to use uh, if you want to have a wider string you can set 0 0.6 hit the enter and update the display uh, since you are not going to use Luban slicer to generate G code this 0 0.6 is not used in the G code but it will help you to get sicker a sicker string in the STL <coughs> so with the new STL of the sicker string you can use your own slicer Cura, Pusa Slicer, Orca, or any kind of slicer to slice the string. So these two are the uh, tricks that you can play in order to get stronger strings. First, nodal size, and second, layer height. Okay. If you do use Luban Slicer to generate string, uh, in addition to those two parameters, I have also included another two controls to help you to produce stronger string. One is flow rate. Uh, as you know, in the material tab, we have a flow rate. Uh, the flow rate is a general flow rate used for printing of any object. Uh, under the tag string, the flow rate is specifically for strings. <coughs> when you use Luban slicer, the nodal size has to be set as the actual nodal size. So the nodal size trick, the nodal diameter trick cannot be played here because you are going to use that size to generate the STL. Uh, also, layer height, it is a trick that you cannot play as if you are not using Luban slicer. You have to set it to 0 0.2 because this will be the layer height uh, of your actual print. Therefore, the adjustable parameters are flow rate, uh, which you can set it to higher than 100%. This will give you a higher flow when you print the strings. So the nozzle is going to squeeze more material, more filament when you print the strings compared to when you are printing the object or the frame. Similarly, the print speed can be customized here. And based on the feedback of several members in Facebook Luban group, uh, they said if they lower the speed, the strings, the successful rate of printing a string is higher. If the speed is high, the string may not be very well printed. They may break. So they print the string with a lower speed. <coughs> in the printer tag, okay, not printer tag, in the material tag, you have a printing speed uh, control. This is the general speed, printing speed, for other things, all the other things. And for the string, you can set a specific, a separate printing speed to print strings. Uh, it is recommended to be a slightly lower speed. That is all for this update. Uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, I hope you can use these new features to print stronger string structures that are beautiful and uh, robust. Thank you.